read to me because I'm looking at God who is the word who is a speaking spirit who said let there be huh and it is and that which is was <laughs> huh praise the Lord so the Lord opens his mouth and he creates a world he opens his mouth to affect things in the heaven and in the earth and in between and the bottom of the sea why? Because he's a speaking spirit. He said, Behold, I make all things new. I just open my mouth and I speak and I shall have what I say. So now since you've been regenerated, huh? now since you have been restored and you've been begotten again into a lively hope, oh my God. Now that hope came by promise. You would never have hope had not God promised you something, a promise to do something for you. Yeah. If God takes back the promise, you got no reason to hope. Yeah. But because God promised I'd be alright, yeah. I'm hoping to be alright. That's what my faith is based upon, the promise that God made me. Oh, hallelujah. So I'm a speaking spirit. Glory to God. My world may be in a chaotic situation. Darkness and void may be upon the face of the deep. But God has made me a speaking spirit. So all I do is speak to this mountain. And I speak to that situation. And I speak it into existence. Because I am of his bone. Glory to God. I have his breath inside of me. have when I say give God a praise. I love that. I love it. I love it. And Jesus said, casting that on the right side. And you'll catch fish. My father and I won. Hallelujah. My father is a speaking spirit. I'm the spirit made flesh. I'm the word made flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am the embodiment of that word. Cast your net on the right side. You will catch me. Lazarus comes forth. Hallelujah. Huh? That brother shall live again. I'm a speaking spirit. I speak and in his soul. What a praise for God. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Now, when the Bible says that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God, see, he hoped. Yes, right. When he learned of the promise, oh, he had faith. Yeah. It was a promise that gave him faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you know God promised to heal you? Do you know God promised to get you out all right? Do yeah. you know God promised to lift your head? Do you know God promised to get your feet up out of the muck and the mire of clay? Do you know that the Lord promised to bind your enemies and to scatter them? and send them running in all directions. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you know God promised it, then you need to know this. God is not a man that he should lie. If God said it, God's going to bring it to pass. Come on and praise God up in here. Oh my God, my God, my God. When I read it was promised, you gave me hope. Hope make it not a shame. Saying, Oh, I praise God. Now it's like that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but he was strong in the faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. He didn't have momentary faith, he didn't have instant faith. Amen. That man had patient faith. That man had, I don't care how long it takes, God, I know you're going to do what you 
to say it. Ah, glory to God. Amen. If I don't have this baby while I'm 21, I'll have it while I'm 100. Because your word shall not fall to the ground. All I got to do is wait on you. Wait, I say on the Lord. And he shall surely come. And when he comes, he's going to come with recompense and reward. Wait, I say on the Lord. Fret not thyself. In any wise you do evil. Because the evil will have you cut off. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the word. You know what you're saying? You're saying that Abraham had the mind of God. All right. All right. No, 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 don't rush with that. Because right. this is dangerous. God began to work this in my spirit today. This is, this is powerful here. Amen. See, because that's how God framed. That's how God brought things into existence. And, and the day we read that the things you see didn't come from things you see. But the visible came from the invisible. The things that you see didn't come from things you see. It came from things you didn't see. Huh? God said, let them be and there was. So that matter didn't come out of matter. But the Lord spoke it and gave it a body. Glory to God. A tree didn't come from a tree. A bird did not come from a bird. Everything had its beginning in God. In the beginning was the word and the word was God. So when it says that Abraham walked in faith, that he was the father of faith, it meant that he fathered, he produced, he brought into existence something. When it said that Abraham kept the faith, it simply means that Abraham kept the mind of God. Hallelujah. When you walk in faith, you walk it in the mind of God. You have creative energy. Huh? You can have supernatural achievement. Huh, Mahaya? When you walk in faith. Huh? Faith moves mountain. Thank you, Jesus. Abraham had the mind of God. He wasn't worried when he crossed the desert. It didn't bother him that the water in the desert. The water was in his mouth. Hallelujah. If it wasn't there, all he had to do was say, let that be. He's a speaking spirit. The, the anointing, the Christ is upon his life. So anyway, you, you found Abraham, you found an oasis. You found a supply of food. You found the city. His faith began to search for the city. Yes. His faith was growing. Yeah. Hallelujah. God was spreading in his mind. God was stretching out in the spirit. Yeah. Oh, he's moving from small things to now he's about to speak a city into existence. He's about to speak a country into existence. Nations are about to come out from him. Why? Because he has a mind of God.
also in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus had the mind of God. For I come not to do my will, but thine will be the Lord have mercy. Give him another praise. one thought away from a miracle. I used to wonder why Satan fought every second to get my mind. Keep your mind twisted, keep your mind divided, keep your mind on stupid things. And when he's not doing that, he's dragging you back into your past. Trying to make you ashamed of what you do, trying to bring you under condemnation. Amen. Trying to make the blood of none effect. Glory to God. Because see, without the blood, there's no remission of sin. If, if, if he can kill the work of the blood in your life, you can't stand in the presence of God. How many of you got to be under the blood? You got to be a victim of the blood of Jesus or its effect, its power, in order to stand it as a righteous soul before God. So he does this, he does say to make us feel condemned, and feel bad, amen, because he does not want you to acknowledge the redemptive work of God in your life. That I'm not who I used to be. I am a new creature. I'm a new creation, hallelujah. I'm a speaking spirit. God has given me dominion. I can restart with overflow. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, praise God. My, 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 my. And, and this is not overnight. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the Lord is doing a good work. He's performing a good work. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he's going to complete it until the appearing of Jesus. Oh, Look at somebody and say, he's going to complete this. Oh, I may be a mess now, but he's going to complete this. I've had some spills, but I'm going to be all right. Because the word of God tells me, this product. Hallelujah. 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 I'm a finished product. If I can believe it, he's not doing it. It's already done. If I can believe it and receive it, I am. But the word say I am. The word say I have. I can do what the word say I can do. In Jesus' name, give him some more praise. Man, I'm enjoying this. to you. Hallelujah. 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 All they were really, 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 really in bad shape. It was crucial for them. The brother was not only dead, but he smelled dead. He looked dead. The evidence that he was dead was prevalent. And Jesus said, Thy brother. But now let him get that word out of my mouth. Well, I don't care what, what was he eating it. I don't care how the cave, come on, that word, hey, is going to accomplish what it's said to accomplish. You got to stop looking at the decay. You got to stop looking at where the Lord is. You got to hear what the Spirit is saying. Spirit said that brother shall live again. Spirit is saying, hey, I'm going to get you out of this situation. Spirit is saying, I'm going to turn it around. Spirit of God said it's going to be all right. Spirit of God said, I'm going to restore this guy. Glory to God, I'm going to clear him of his magnets and his worms and his centipede. And I'm going to send him home. Oh, why don't you praise God? Man, 
and the Bible said, and it came to pass. Uh -huh. Did you read that? Yeah. And it came to pass. Yeah. Didn't come to stay, it came to pass. Yeah. The Bible said he taught them as one having authority. Yes. A speaking spirit spoke powerfully. Yes, he spoke as one legally ordained and appointed to speak what he was speaking. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to hear it again. Casting that on the right side. Yes. And they've been out there all night. And they look at that master, my God. We want to do what you say, but we tired. We've been fishing all night long. And don't want to hurt your feelings, but you ain't no, you, you're not a fisherman, you're a carpenter. We know about things like this here. But it's a benevolent At your word. But not only is the word in your mouth, you are the word. Yeah. You speak in yourself. <laughs> but you say that's you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible said that God said that on the right side and caught so many fish, their ships begin to sink. Come on here. I feel somebody's ship sinking, but you're going to do what God tells you. God is a speaking spirit. You're going to listen to him and you're going to have a ship sinking. Net breaking experience. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. The boy ran next to the next boat. Said, Come on, man, help us. <laughs> Bring your boat over here. We got to load some of our fish on your boat. I feel an anointed of plenty. I feel an anointed of supply. I feel an anointed of more than enough. I feel that anointed of overflow. And it belongs to the people of God. I feel your boat sinking now. I see your net breaking now. I see you going to somebody and say, come on. I want to share with you. Such as I have, I give it unto you. God has blessed me. Uh, good measure. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over. Where the praise is at. Yeah, you need to be praying for God to meet your need. What are you talking about? He met my need already. He met my need on Calvary. He supplied all my needs according to his riches and glory. Honey, he not meet my need, now he meet my wants. He gives me what I want now. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Glory to God. He's my Messianic anointed one. He, he gives me the desires Woo, of my heart. Come on and praise God. Come on, praise God. Come on, come on praise him, man. Give him high praise. I want a house, I'm gonna get it. I want a car, I'm gonna get it. I want better clothes, I'm gonna get it. I want more money, I'm gonna get it. He gives me the desires of my heart. I shall not want, for my shepherd is a part of my shepherd. Glory to God. God, I got me jumping back in my animals. Sit down so I can sit down. God wanna lavish his love on you. God, God wants to go to the extreme. He wants to take his shopping and show off. Huh? Glory to God. He's desperate to quench your thirst. He get water out of a rock. Huh? Yeah, Bashala Kota. Hallelujah. Now, let me let me come back. Because I want to tell you something. We don't walk by sight, but what you see is temporal. 
Do not be gratified and satisfied by what people show you. But what you see won't last long. Yes, some people say, I don't see that. I don't see what you see. This is what I see. What both of y'all see is short there. It's different. Huh? Build your hopes on things eternal. Do not go by what you see with the eyes. Huh? But what you see with the eye of the spirit. What you see that's not seen is what you should trust in. For the apostle said, what you see didn't come from what you see. What you see came from what you don't see. For in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And how did he do it? Speaking words. Now let me deal with two things very quickly. One, you are a new creature. Once you accept Jesus Christ and you're saved again, you're a new creature. Yeah. You may be on a bad diet, but you're a new creature. Because you can get saved if you're under a ministry that's not in sync with what God is doing in the world today. You're not getting proper food. And the dynamics of the kingdom of God is growth and change. If you're not under ministry that's got you growing, you can't change. And this mortal must put on him on top. And we must move from the valley to the mountain. Going from glory to glory to glory. From faith to faith yeah. to faith. Yeah. And you cannot do that without a speaking word. All right. Amen. Understand this. How can I accept some man speaks to us? Interpret. Amen. So then I, 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 I have to be fair. Now, here's something that you got to understand, and I want you to get this if you don't remember anything else, that God is doing things in your life you have no idea, you don't have a clue as to what God is doing. One of the things that I learned about God is that when a thing is in its season, what's supposed to happen in that season is going to happen irregardless of how ignorant you are to it. When it's time for you to be blessed, you don't get blessed. This is why you need to stay current. And you need somebody with a speaking word in their mouth, who is a speaking spirit, to speak that word so you'll understand what time it is. So you know the season. We dealt with situations. We dealt with levels. Amen. We dealt with seasons. We dealt with times today. These are essential. Now, it's harvest time in some of your lives. You can't sow no seed when you're supposed to be collecting the fruit of the seed. Paul said some should be teachers, but they need to be taught. Now, faith works in different ways. Faith is the highest praise, the highest glory there is. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah. Can't please Him. So now, the reason many of us need to be under faith ministry, if you're under a ministry that's ignorant, 
nuts, copying everybody. God's not talking to them. You're not going to be delivered. You're not going to take off more and put on the immortality. The eyes of your understanding is not going to be in light. Glory to God. You're going to be ever learning and never coming into the knowledge. You're going to be ever learning and never getting any revelation. And you need a revelation. You need a revelation. Eyes come open means that I saw something that I haven't been seeing. It's revelation. Amen. Now, the reason we need to begin to operate in faith, Abraham walked by faith. Noah by faith. Why? Because they had something that time couldn't handle. They had a job to do that they couldn't do in time. You understand? Some of y'all think God be done working in you when you met me. Hamburger. God was working in some of us way back. But the devil kept, kept putting other people there. Huh? Breaking you off from that lifeline. Help us, Satan. Come on, don't hold me down up in here. I'm trying to get you free. Amen. Sending that man, sending that woman, sending that preacher, sending that prophet who had not the spirit of Christ, who was none of his. Amen. Glory to God. God said, when I send you a prophet, you're going to know I sent him because you ain't going to be afraid no more. Glory to God. When he speak to you, you ain't going to be afraid. You ain't going to be afraid of going to hell because you had two husbands. Afraid of going to hell because you had three wives. Jesus breaks every feather and he sets you free. Hallelujah. How God is a God of liberty. I'm not coming to condemn you, but that the world through me might be saved. Giving us the spirit of fear. All these old spirits being released. Got you afraid of going to hell. Got you afraid of death. Praise the Lord. Keep off the grass. Do not enter. Beware the dog. I got a gun. We're full of fear, but God is not giving us the spirit of fear. When you are in the place where God draw you and situate you and, and, and place you, there is no fear. God, that word, my God, that word is going to drive out all fear. That word is going to bring restoration. You know what restoration means? That word is going to create a faith. Your faith is going to transcend, move beyond your present circumstance and condition. And it's going to go way out there and get you stuff. And that stuff is going to get back and it's going to destroy the damage of the canker worm and the locusts and the caterpillar and the worm. And God is not going to leave you there until he's made you a complete, total new creature. And he's going to continue to send that word until that new creature begins to walk in a new creation. Until yeah. you look at your hands and your hands look new. Yeah. Look at your feet and your feet do too. Yeah. What good is having new feet and you're still walking in the mud? But oh no, he's going to plant my feet on higher ground. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You got to get this what I'm trying to tell you. So then because... I have been delayed. Why do you think Satan hinders you? He sends these spirits that come to hinder. Come to hinder. I had some people that come down and was registering their kid. But I got a I got an insight. This person was just rumbocious and mouthy. I said, now this is gonna be something the devil gonna work through when we get started. So we ain't gonna even start with this. Because this is a highly, this is highly classified. Come on, what I'm doing now is classified. What you're doing now is classified. This is classified. This is a blue seal. This is behind a sealed door. What 
you're doing is not common. What you're doing is not every day. This has been ushered in by the Holy Spirit. You can look for things that's going to shake somebody up. Somebody's going to have a mighty miracle in their life because God has ascertained us as unusual vessels and he's pouring in us an unusual substance. Sister said that she had worked one job to come in, she was tired. She had to cook for everybody. She went home, went to bed, and woke up, smothered chicken, gravy. Old folks said gravy. I think I like gravy better than I do gravy. Hallelujah. Rice, crisp rice. Hallelujah. Cornbread, cabbage. Yam, squash, on the stove. <coughs> she says, she asked the question. I love to be around crazy people. That's why I don't mess with y'all. Y'all got too much sense for me. She said, what about at home? She said, the Lord let me sleep. And faith to get a word. She said that day, come on, get ready, I'm getting ready to release something here. I fear God. God can bless you so you wake up scared. You wake up to something that wasn't there before. You wake up to a doing that wasn't done before. You wake up to an arrangement, come on. You wake up to a piece of something in your place that was not there before. And the Bible said, he feared God that day because God showed himself as God. I feared the Lord when I left my glasses. I had those glasses especially made. They were punch veal glasses. I left them on the plane. Amen. Got back here and I realized I left my glasses on the plane. I laid on the sofa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the building that they burned down. I started talking to the Lord. I said, I like them glasses. God said, You want them back? Huh? I, I bet some of y'all have been saying, No, that's all right. <laughs> because when God something in your life it rearranges you it shifts you it moves you from where you are to another place when God shows up you can't stay the same God asked me and some of you think I'm lying because you ain't there see two can't walk together except they be in agreement I can tell you some stuff you wouldn't believe. Have it all that reverend. That's a lying preacher. No. I know you may say something I wouldn't even tell you. I said, yeah. He said, put your hand down in the sofa. And like Moses, I was, I had fear and trembling. Because I know if he told me, I know if that word said do it. Come on, that word is going to accomplish what it's been said to accomplish. If that word told me to put my hands down in that sofa and I pick up some glasses, my hands could get ready to pick up some glasses. I put my hand down there and put my hand on my glasses. Had the same experience with my wallet and my credit card not many days ago. God will get stuff for you. He'll give you back what the cake worm and the locust. He'll give you back what that devil's taking. He'll give you back your youth. He'll give you back your joy. He'll give you back your anointing. He'll give you back your sweetness. He'll give you back your happiness. She said, Oh, nobody at home. Oh, no, what you 
the stove and said, Squash was so pretty. She said, Reverend, I know it wasn't my cooking, but I don't cook pretty like that. So I taste that gravy. And it tastes like an angel had cooked. I, I want that some of y'all looking at me. You know what that I ain't paying you no mind. You come in here for a miracle, why don't you let go and get one? A miracle is not ordinary. You got to hear something out of the ordinary. Put something out of the ordinary to have fun. I'm trying to tell you something. And then after a while, I said the good thing about it was that it kept it warm. He'll yeah. not only give you a miracle, he'll yeah. keep it warm. He'll yeah. keep it intact, he'll keep it strong. Yeah. He won't let people talk you out of your miracle. You won't let your crazy husband mess with your miracle. Your crazy wife, your crazy children, your crazy job. He'll keep what you commit in his hand. Kiss that day. Come in there and he said, oh my God. Oh man, got him a kiss her right in the mouth. Mouth. He ain't never cook like this. That's what she said. I didn't cook it. They didn't talk. They was having fun. I didn't cook it. Finally, they heard what she said. They, they thought, you didn't cook it. And they got to call the name. Your mama cook? No. Mama? No. I called the best friend. No. Who could? Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why the climate changed in the room. They want to give her some help. And when they didn't know that their help was there. God had done something in her life and it was too wonderful for them to receive it or believe it. But I'm here to tell you that God is doing some uncommon things in your life. So you look for him and don't let people's unbelief rob you of the miracles that God is performing in your life. Some of y'all can't bring home a miracle because you're wondering if somebody's going to let it stay. God follows your home, that's the miraculous. That's the supernatural. That's the unexpected. That's the unbelievable. When I start walking in faith, angels have access to my house. Every inch of that house, they have access. It becomes demon proof. People who are my good friends, but they backbiters and they, they get ready to come and they say, I got something to do. Because the Lord watches over me by day and by night. He's never ever going to let me out of his sight. I got something to do. They turn around right in the door. Because the Bible said that that devil shall not come nigh thy door. I begin to celebrate that one I'm supernaturally cared for. I ain't got no business operating a fish hating like I'm doing. 
Shoot him a miracle. Yeah. I accept this miracle, Lord. You know I'm preaching to you, don't know? It's too many spiritual people here walking in the natural. You spiritual, you can't live off the natural, baby. hearing what the Spirit is saying. Yeah. Allow the Spirit of God through others, specifically in one with the Word of God in his mouth, to collect your understanding. Because you are understanding away from a miracle. Hallelujah. Let me talk to them a little slow, people. Hallelujah. I said you are understanding away from a miracle. The only thing that's standing between you and the miraculous, you and a miracle, you and the supernatural, is your ignorance. Yeah. And I'm up here to deal with your ignorance. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. So that you'll go so and knowing and clearing in the things of the Spirit. Yeah. Now, in faith, it's impossible to please God. I'm not trying to please anybody now. Because you can't please nobody. You get one pair of shoes, why do you get me two? Give them a chicken, they want pee. You go outdoors, they want to be in the house. 
when it's one of the wish it was something. Yeah. All you need to please God is faith. You don't need a long hand, ivory teeth, and a Coca-Cola bottle of shake. You just need faith. No matter your color, your gender, faith. Love faith. And the Bible said he's coming, but will he find faith when he comes? Because if he doesn't find faith, his coming is in vain. Can I tell you something? He's here tonight. Yeah. Pastor this, pastor that, pastor to believe. Yeah. Only believe. Yeah. And all things are possible to them that believe. Pastor, I'm already there. Then keep coming and let me work with you. All right. Because if you have way the river, you can still drown. You got to clear it. Come on, come on, come on. Help me. I'm on my way. But we got to get through it. One of the things that I said when I'm praying, I said, Lord, don't get through to you. Don't get through speaking. Till you get through to me. Don't be through till you get through. You don't know, even both from you knew this, you knew that, you knew that. No, I don't know. But I believe. That all things are possible. I'm, I'm looking at some of y'all's spirit. All things are possible. Thank you, Jesus. When I knew that I would have to go to the hospital, there were people I didn't want, didn't want around me. Jesus. You have to be companioned. You have to be connected. You have to be associated. Some of your good friends can't go all the way with you. They'll mess it up. God said, get mom. God told Paul, get mom. Mom had done messed up, what, three or four times. He was talking about mom. But what Paul was about to go through, all that mess that mom been through, fitted him to help Paul get through. Don't worry about you when talking about somebody. That could be the very person God has fit into you. To join y'all together, hey! And y'all put a whipping on the day. Faith gives me the mind of God. Faith takes me from where I am to where God wants me, not where I want to be. Faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of God. That faith is a product of the word. It is between the mouth of God and the ear of a believer. Faith. If I come in here and I listen to the word, praise God, faith is going to snatch me. And when faith is working, don't, 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 don't stop faith touch somebody and they say, who pray Lord, you hear that? No, 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 no. You just keep hearing. Keep soaring. Hallelujah. If God's joining with you, they'll be soaring to you. If not, you best get on about your business. I'll let nothing separate me. Come on, give God a praise. Give him high praise. 
get emotional about it. Intelligent. Intelligent doesn't come from college. Amen. Come from quieting yourself and realize that you are not responsible for yourself. That's the beginning of intelligence. Amen. Faith cometh by hearing the word of God. What is faith's purpose? To work miracles? To empower you to receive and be a recipient of supernatural achievements. That whatever the devil intended to do, if God let him do it, it's going to be because it's going to prosper you. You'll only let those all things work together for your good. Now it deals with all things. All things possible. So now let, let me deal with this. You have things in your life right now. That's not possible. That's where he specializes. In things that seem impossible. It don't seem it when it comes to us. It is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Why? Because he's got something to work with. I am a believer. change. I can look for a difference. I'm excited but I know that God's going to work according to my ability to allow him to work. So Lord work on me so I can allow you to work on me. And if I want you to work on me more I got to be around you more. Because the only more begets more. And if I want extreme blessings from God, I have to be extreme when it comes to my prayer, my loving on it, my hanging around it. I should be extreme during the day. Remember, I've never had a half hour that's been in prayer with the Lord. You ain't getting over no half hour. Let me stop and get that crazy spirit out your brain. Extreme measures who are extreme. Now I want to tell you something. Listen to me very carefully. Got to listen to this. Now I got to hang on to this. Satan is a spirit. Now many of your theologians they interpret Genesis as so. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, earth without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. They said the darkness and the void that was upon the face of the deep came when God kicked Satan out of heaven. If that's true, a spiritual force, a spirit that needs no eyes, nose, or anything, to be a being, to exist, was kicked out of heaven. Say, warn the men. Because I saw Satan coming out of heaven like lightning, flashing to them. This is why God has equipped you because you are no match for the devil in your carnal state. The whole armor of God, let me simplify that. 
is that God has made you a living soul. Otherwise, you can't handle it that way. The Hebrew interpretation for living soul is speaking spirit. So in order to handle the devil and the demons that's been assigned to your life, what God has done, he made you like him. You cast him out of heaven, you can cast him out of your business. You can cast him out of your life. You can cast him out of your finance. You can cast him out of your health. Say that the Lord rebuke you. You can pull down strongholds. Then imagine itself against the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah! Let me, let me shove a few things on you. Things that I can speak. Things that I must practice speaking. I'm still in the flesh. And my flesh probably no good thing. I can have a high moment in church. Soon as I get outside, flesh get acting up. I want a cigarette. I want a bear. <laughs> I want a little bit of wine. Calm. It ain't gonna hurt me. I just wanna go sleep it. I get to the house. Go back and get a fifth. You know you're gonna sleep because you're drunk. Hallelujah. 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 So God knew that you were no match for the devil. So he made you a speaking spirit. That's why he does not want you to walk by sight. By hearing. And by thinking. Take no thought. Why? Because Satan does not use these faculties. They are for humans. They're for people who operate in the natural. The reason God gave you five senses was to communicate with one another. You can't handle the devil with five senses. And you can't communicate with God with five senses. You gotta operate out of the spirit. And that worship God must do it. Amen. And so he's made you a speaking spirit, a quickening spirit. So you're more than a match for the devil. But you can't go up against Satan with your sanity. All right. Come on, boo boo. <laughs> You got to go up against the devil with your insanity. Yeah. You got to go up against the devil with your crazy. Yeah. Oh, come on, Satan. I've been waiting on you. I'm going to put a monkey whipping on you tonight. All right. You got to talk to that person. Yeah. You got to act like you're crazy. Yeah. And you're going to say, come on, demons, right. let's get out of here. <laughs> Catch them when they're in their normal mind. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to deal with you. I got a whole yard. Yeah, my yard. So you put on the whole armor of God. Yes. Not the armor of Saul. This is not physical military. This is the stuff that God wears in battle. He's fitted you like the himself. You got his breath in you. You carry his image. You're his lookalike. He filled you with his spirit. Now go out and cast out devils and heal the sick and raise the dead. Put my praise in the hell. Come on, let's give God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We know that you specialize in things that seem impossible. And you can do
hands because we believe soon as it came at your mouth it was already done and we received it tonight in the name of Jesus come on and put your hands together hallelujah let's celebrate the word tonight hallelujah before you take it off and I want to sign off of the air but I want to say something to those of you who are viewing listening to those of you who are present when I walk by faith, I'm walking in the mind of God. I'm a victim of his thoughts. When I walk in faith, I mind the things of the spirit. Faith is spirit. The things of the spirit are not seen. They're discerned. The things of the spirit are not stumbled upon. They're revealed. But because I have a new mind, a new way of thinking, I mind the things of the spirit. I don't ignore. I'm not so carnal minded that God operates in my midst and I don't pay it no mind. Old folks ain't no tension. But if the Spirit does that much in my midst, I mind the things of the Spirit. I pay attention. I ask questions. Lord, what meaning this? Speak on thy servant here. Hopefully, those of you who've been viewing, you've heard a word from God. As have you. I'm praying for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. That river that seems uncrossable. That mountain they cannot tunnel through. The ache they can't shake. The pain they can't explain. Stretch out your mighty hand. And bless my viewers. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Ooh. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.